Hi everybody and welcome to another edition of the Rowena Documentation Project. Here I'm taking a slightly different tack and I'm walking actually down Rowena toward the intersection with Glendale Boulevard. As you can see there's not too much traffic here, although it is a Friday morning at about 8.45 a.m. during rush hour times. I think we're probably going to see a little bit of a backup. The traffic signal at Glendale is uh, probably one of the sore spots on the street. What was shocking is that there was not an analysis of the actual traffic signal uh, reconfigurations that might be possible if someone were to dig deep into what could be done to help this intersection. But uh, taking a look, you could see in both directions that traffic is still flowing. There's even a bus going down Rowena here. Um, we do see some pedestrians on the street. Being that it's Friday, the most high traffic day of the week, most likely. I think people would roundly consider this the most high traffic day of the week. We can be actually satisfied that the traffic on Rowena is still moving at a brisk pace. So what do we have here? We have some residences back here. You can see how the, how the properties are laid out on Rowena. <clears throat> there are some uh, residents who live behind some of the frontmost businesses, as well as other residents, residences that are actually right on the street. Now what is, what is noticeable from this Glendale intersection, and it's actually the same street as Rowena. The street actually moves, Rowena moves straight into Glendale, or what they've renamed as Glendale Boulevard. And there's sort of an odd intersection here, where another, another portion of Glendale Boulevard sort of curves and merges into it. What you will notice is that there are a number of vehicles backed up on Glendale Boulevard. Now I do believe those are commuters who are just cutting through our neighborhood at a rush hour time. There are pedestrians here. The entire street is sort of, you know, buckled up by this intersection. There's a bus stop. You can see that there is a single turn lane uh, to go actually left from Glendale Boulevard. And there's one car going there that doesn't really comport too well with the idea that there's a lot of cut through traffic. Um, but what is noticeable here is, is this black SUV that is just basically cut into the uh, main lane coming from Glendale. And what that shows us is that the actual layout of this intersection is, is not very good. What I've noticed driving on it myself is that <clears throat> the two lanes on this part of Glendale, uh, actually it's not as clear to many drivers that <clears throat> you have to merge uh, to the left to continue onto Rowena. And so people will pull up all the way into these right-hand turn lanes and they will uh, sort of stop there and block traffic and actually try to try to force a merge back into the main lane. Um, <clears throat> when the intersection is moving, it's moving. Um, I don't see backup here that is sort of blocking the intersection, but we do see a lot of vehicles. And you notice there is a lot of traffic also coming from the other component of Glendale Boulevard. It's a major street. So uh, <clears throat> maybe somebody could take a look at this intersection and see if there were some way to make it uh, more natural for people to understand how that right turn lane there that goes on to the other portion of what they're calling Glendale Boulevard can be altered. Also might not be a bad idea to consider a road diet configuration for this other piece of Glendale because it does look like uh, a lot of this traffic is coming from Fletcher and the freeway. But let's take a look. There's some pedestrians. Let's take a look at how the road looks itself. There's a fire station there. Likely some residences back here with that parking garage on that top story behind this business. <clears throat> but 
somebody else walking by the bus stop there. So this street's used by a lot of people, a lot of pedestrians. There are the residences that I saw. It's really deceptive how they can label certain properties a, uh, a business, zoned business, or zoned commercial, and then actually there are a number of people living in that property, or it's, or it's completely a residential building, as in my, in my building. My home. There's a bungalow court up there. Bottom line is Rowena seems to be moving along quite well on a Friday morning about 8.45 to 8.50 a.m. 